previously on Resident Evil 7 Madhouse. This house is too dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! Well, that's special. Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 7 Madhouse. Last time we find, uh, we found the arm, which is one of the serum ingredients we need. We came to the trailer to find Zoe, since she was supposed to have the head. But she was nowhere to be found, Lucas gave us a phone call and just kind of bossed us around to do some errands for him. We got a couple of uh, a couple of key cards, so now we're invited to his party for his little activities, whatever those might be. We have a VHS to watch, but before we do... a few things I missed last time. Now one of them I noticed going through my own footage, I did notice there was some ammunition right here, some 44 mag ammo. Only one bullet, it may or may not become handy, but in case I do get the magnum, do decide to get it, every little bit counts. And the second item I know I said I wasn't gonna spoil myself if anything, anything, but just one person just outright told me without me asking that I did miss something in the old house. So I'm just gonna go back for it, even though it is kind of unfair. It's all the way back here. And I do hope there aren't any molded around, because I don't have that much ammo to go around. So supposedly I missed a lockpick somewhere over here. It's supposed to be covered in mold. Now there are a few rooms with the mold inside them. Ah, yeah, there's definitely mold here. So supposedly there is a lockpick somewhere in this room, somewhere inside the mold. And is it that one? Yeah, it certainly is. I did miss that. That is a difficult lockpick to find. I gotta say, I, I'm i surprised anyone has found that, unless they were going through everything inch by inch, which I never do myself. Nothing else to do here, I suppose. I'm not going to go through this area with a fine-tooth comb or anything. I've already did this area. And fighting a lockpick is more than I ever could have hoped for. We do have a few locations we could use them in. I still don't know what's inside the chests. But I think I'm going to save them for later, just in case. Because I... It would only make sense that later chests have the better stuff inside them. And we're back here. Now, before we enter Lucas's uh, little house of horrors, let's go and watch that videotape we got. Happy birthday! It's gotta be. It's gotta be a fun little video, surely. Oh, come on. 
now. Don't be like that. It's gonna be fun. Just you wait. All right, you may have noticed the name there, Clancy Chavez. This is one of the guys from the intro video, the Sewer Gators video from way back in the first episode. There's a cake. I've called him the game. I'd really like to make it out of this room alive and not die a horrible, painful death. I know. It's a temp title. Take a candle, light it, and put it on the cake. And remember to smile. This party is for you. <laughs> Fuck you. So, there are a couple of different puzzles here. You could do this really quickly if you know what to do. But we'll just go along with it. We can't really put the candle on there because it's not lit and whenever we enter this room, the sprinklers turn on. So we got a way of turning them off somehow or protect the candle. Over here we can actually get the light back on. And there are a few things we gotta do. So first off, there's this rope. Closing the door, let's just burn it off. Find a room full of balloons. Oh, this is fun. Uh, excuse me for a while. What's that? Ah, uh, it's gonna wait. Oh man, it's better than bubble wrap. Oh yeah, that is satisfying. Okay, I am done fiddling around. So we do find a balloon. It's not inflated. It would be difficult to open that without the password and clearly it's not happy. So we find a balloon. What are we gonna do with the balloon? Well, there's some gas coming out from here. Let's put the balloon in. Ow. All right, a quill pen. Now just to find some parchment, we can start writing our memoirs down. Or maybe just get this guy to do it for us. Maybe not. It can't hold it properly. What kind of an assistant are you? The kind you need to wind up, maybe. No water coming out. Oh, that looks disgusting. Oh, fucking disgusting. Ugh. Ugh. A dirty telescope. If we use it, we can't really see anything. But of course, we can maybe rinse it off. 
Yeah, definitely works. And if we look at the monitor here, through the telescope, we can see some symbols. Uh, there's a, uh, I guess that's someone in a gallows. We have a crow on top of a tombstone and a fetus. So news, crow, fetus. And there was a lock over here. Noose, crow, and fetus. Got it. A straw doll. It says you on it. So let's go burn it. Surely it's not a voodoo doll or anything. It's probably gonna explode. Oh! Lucas was in a nice mood with that. We got a dummy finger, so let's put the dummy finger on this horrendous thing over here and give it a quill pen while we're at it. And then we just need to wind it up. And there's a winding cue right here. I reckon that will do. And whatever this is, it won't stop coming out. Um, well, let's not worry about that. We have a puzzle to solve. Alright, put the winding key in. Oh, come on, I solved it. You can't call me a loser after that. You're the worst assistant ever. So we did get the answer for this one. Weirdly enough, it's just five rotations to either direction for all of them. And we did get the valve handle. So we'll put that over here. And the water should now be turned off. Yep, so we can light the can uh, we can light the cake with the candle. Yeah, put that in. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Well, I was wrong. Okay, turn the water back on, turn the water back on. Uh, they don't make them like they used to. That is one of the more gruesome things in the game, in my book. You know, give a guy a little hope to make it out alive, then just uh, ultimately burn him alive. Lucas is one sick puppy. So, 
I've been thinking about this. And I believe I'm gonna buy the steroids. Because I do need the health. That's really in short supply on Madhouse. So I definitely want to have as much health as I can. There we go. And we could also buy one of the either the attack key or the defense key. And the best offense, uh, a good offense is the best defense, as they say. Was it the other way around? So I would have to I would have to think about this for a little while. I could, I could buy either of them. But I am a fan of attacking. So let's buy that. Let's buy that and see what it actually looks like. It looks like an antique coin, only it's golden. These coins are said to have special effects on those who carry them, so we'll be carrying this with us. Have it in our inventory from here on out. Otherwise, it probably won't have any effect. So, our attack power got better. That's good. Put the antique coins back. We can't really buy anything else right now. Let's see. Yeah, I do believe that is pretty much it. Gonna take the broken hand gun with me. You'll see what I uh, see what for in just a second. And now we are ready to enter the party. There is a true rave going on over here. And that's, that's what we're doing, actually, Lucas. This is a let's play. I guess we're starting by watching a little telly. Of course he had to blow it up. 
Well, yeah, the answer is yes, Lucas. I am gonna come through you. I am gonna come through you, get that head, and I'm probably gonna blow you to bits because that's what I like to do. Uh, do. Yeah, Lucas has a knack for putting uh, trap crates around the place. So that's a new thing now. As are these. We want to be careful around these things. Can I squeeze myself past? Yeah, yeah, that works. That definitely works. Just gotta be careful. Unfortunately, they're kind of all over the place and I'd much rather not deal with them. And you may remember the one of the treasure photos did have this particular head here. So if we do this, we can find the gun repair kit. And with that, we can use it on our broken handgun, the M19, and actually switch over to that. Now the problem is we still have some ammunition loaded into this one. So we want to use them first before we do the change. And had I been smart, I would have... I would have uh, actually kept all of my enhanced handgun ammo for the better gun that we have. Okay, let's play it safe here. If we can. Get that one from here. Just crawl under this and we're good. All right. And we have a crate here. We can actually put our, put our G17 inside if we want to. The happy birthday video can definitely go. We don't have any need for that. And so can all of this stuff for now. Hmm. I know. Fucking password, right? Mm, why don't you try 0814? No, 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 no. 06. Two one. No, 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 it's zero five one four. Oh, come on, take a chance, you never know. Yeah, I never will. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Well, that took its time. And this is the place for the puzzle we saw in the VHS, actually. So it looks like we're gonna have to do that. Good thing we watched the video. So now we know the answer. Uh, beforehand, we know what's coming up. Okay, let's load our better gun with the enhanced gun ammo. And use the normal ammo for this. There's gonna be plenty of these explosive crates around here. So we've gotta be careful about them. Psycho stims. Some nasty stuff. And once I run over here, I do know for a fact that there's gotta be a four linker. And the new handgun seems to work fairly well on that. Yeah, I'm just basically playing it safe here. As safely as I can, anyway. Because I blow myself up on these things a few times. Yeah. 
even if it means wasting a little ammo. I'm okay with that. And I can't remember if that's a blow if one that blows up. Yep, yeah, it definitely is. And we have some more steroids. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, we got some pretty good stuff over here. Definitely worth a visit. There's gotta be a few molded here, I believe. Yeah, there's one of them. One down. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm not sure if it's the new handgun or if it's the attack coin, but the enemies certainly go down faster. Or maybe it's just my imagination. Anyway, we do have a save room right here. And normally I'd go further than this, but right now I'm gonna cut this video short, shorter than usual, and just call it a day right here and now. Put away some of this stuff, and I will see you guys next time for RE7 Madhouse. I shall see you then.